Okay, guys, gads, here we are back again. <laughs> I go two months without making a video, and all of a sudden I've made two in one day. But I wanted to come to you this morning with a separate video just because the, the question that I get asked the most is, um, how do I know my style? I don't know what my style is. Well, your style is what draws you in, and that's so easy to, to know your style. Like if you're looking at your let's say you're at a craft show and you come up on a table and um, there are a bunch of uh, junk journals on that table and there's every style under the sun so which style is going to get your attention first which one is going to kind of call out to you pick me up and look through me and see what's in here so this one in the picture here I got these off of and I hope these pictures will show up good on this video my printer, I just got a new printer. I wouldn't give you two cents in Chinese money for another one just like it. It is an HP Office Jet uh, 6970, I think. I had a 6954 before, and that thing I would give twice the price of a printer to have another brand new one just like that. <laughs> this one, I would give it away if someone wanted it. It has been more trouble. So the colors are not true on the printer and it was an expensive printer so we'll see uh, but uh, we're going to go through this I have several pictures I want you to look at and I want you to to think as you're looking at each one of these pictures which one grabs your attention uh, I think I have five here I believe five so we're going to be talking about real grungy we're going to be talking about the real simplified journal that's just a journal more or less not a whole lot of foo-foo to it we're going to be talking about shabby chic uh, we're going to be talking about the bo what they call the boho journal uh, and the uh, passport journal and these are all just going to be quick we're not going to be on here all day because none of us have time for YouTube or <laughs> playing or anything else because we want to be uh, working and getting our work done so we can do our journals so this is uh, this one in the in the top here. If I saw any of those books on a table uh, at a craft show, I would run to them to pick one of them up and see what it said inside because those books call out to me loud and clear. It just looks like those books are full of secrets, uh, surprises, maybe good stuff, maybe some things that's not so great. I don't know, but these books are me. Uh, kind of messed up, <laughs> mangled up, <laughs> uh, shabby, you know, uh, but that's me. That's the kind of thing that draws me in. So these, I believe, are called passport journals. And um, I'm, I'm working on, I mean, I'm trying to get the hang of this. This is hard for me because I'm so detail-oriented. And I can't make the pages just look blank and shabby around the edges. I've got to put something on the pages. That's where my problem is. So let's move on here. This is a very simplified journal. Let me back up just a teensy bit. This journal, to me, I mean, you know, th these are my opinions. So don't be offended if I say something negative about a journal that pulls you in. <laughs> Because it's just me. It's just what I like. Uh, many people out there right now listening don't like grungy. Many people don't like the journals that I make. While you're watching, I have no idea to see what kind of fumbles I'm going to make on my video, I guess. <laughs> but don't be offended by anything I say because I don't mean anything by it. But I would see a uh, hundred of these on a table and just walk on by. Nothing says grab me, look at me. I'm full of secrets, I'm full of treasures. Uh, to me, this is a journal that says, I didn't have a whole lot of ideas, I don't have a whole lot to say, I don't know what to put in my journal, so I'm just gonna put a cover on it and let that be that. I just as soon have a spiral notebook from the dollar store as have one of these. This is a, what I would call a shabby chic journal. Let me pull it in a little more if I can. I'm not good at this camera thing. That is a shabby chic, but it's grunged up. It's not as light and frilly, and I couldn't find one, and I'm in a hurry because I have to get all this done before my husband's gone to get his physical. <laughs> so uh, 
uh, this I found this and this is shabby chic because it's got the ruffles it's got the bows it's got some pink it's got some lace but they have grunged it up so uh, I like that I mean I, I might pick it up and thumb through it it doesn't really pull me in I don't think there would be a whole lot of interest to me in this book even if I picked it up and looked through it so um, so that's uh, kind of the shabby chic style. Did that pull you in? Uh, would it have pulled you in if it hadn't been grunged up with just having just the lace and the ruffles and all that? I don't know. This is a Nellie Wortman book, and I love her books. Let me back up a little bit. Whoops, no, wrong way. Wrong way, Jose. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. Okay, this is a Nellie Wortman, and I love her work. Sometimes I think her books are too overdone. Sometimes I think her covers are too overdone. Um, sometimes I, I'm not real crazy about the insides, but something about the book is me. I can't explain that. Okay, got to turn him down. That's my scanner. Uh, something about these books still pull me in. All of her books pull me in. When I see one and I'm going through Pinterest or whatever, uh, and one of her books go by, or I see it in the, the layout of several books. I've got to zoom in and look at that book and look at it better. Uh, it's just, it, it says it's full of secrets to me. It, it tells me it's full of treasures, uh, really good, warm, and fuzzy stuff. Uh, it's just a book that just says love and warmth and cozy to me. So, it's kind of on the order of this. Can we do this? I don't know. Uh, you know, these are full of secrets, and they pull me in, but there's not a, there's maybe a little bit of warmth to it, but nothing like this. So that's that. Let's look at that. This is what they call, and I wanted to find one a little bit better than this for the boho style, but I didn't have time to keep looking. Uh, the boho style is just real colorful as a general rule. I see some that people say are boho, and they don't look boho to me. But um, as a general rule, this is a boho book, and they normally have a lot of beads and jewels and things like that on them. Um, there are things about the boho style that I like. Uh, I would have to pick it up and look inside, but so many of the boho books, when I do look inside, I find what I would call darkness. And I don't know how to explain that, but, um, you know, the that cover... That's beautiful to me. I love that. I love all the colors. I love the, little, love the little beads and stuff, even though I'm not big into color. I'm more into earthy tones and things like that. But uh, something about this book, I love that book. But I believe if I looked inside that book, I would find some things that would make me feel a little down instead of uplifted and warm and fuzzy. That's just me. But that's boho. Did that pull you in? Did that make you want to pick that book up and say, oh my goodness, I've got to look inside that book? Um, these, I don't know what you call these, <laughs> but I love them. I couldn't walk by a table with those books in it for anything. To me, they look like the real old grandma books that I'm wanting to do even better already. Um, you know, everybody, this is, this doesn't sound good, but people do rave about my grandma books. Uh, and I don't mean that in any kind of arrogant way at all, not at all, but people do rave about the grandma books. But the grandma books still, to me, to have belonged to a grandma in 1942, and maybe it was a book that she saved from her grandma in the late 1800s, to me, my grandma books are still too kind of cute. So I'm still not happy with my grandma books. This, to me, is a true-to-life grandma book. I could no more pass that book on a table at a craft show. No. Geezer could be pulling me on and say, come on, let's go. we got to get out of here. It's time to eat. No. I'd say, you go eat. I've got to look and see what is inside that book because that tells me there are treasures beyond measure inside that book. So, I don't know if this video is going to help you. I didn't want it to last very long. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you some idea uh, of what I feel like um, our styles are. Your style is whatever 
pulls you in and makes you feel good. Just like I said in the beginning, if you're passing a table at a craft show and there's all these styles of, of books on the table, which one are you going to pick up and look at first? Because that is your style. That's going to be the style that is you. And if you will start just looking at those books and start putting them together in that way, they will come together a lot easier for you. Now, there's a lot of work in these books. If you do them and do them right, there are hours and hours of uh, work in these books like the two that I just didn't showed in the video earlier this morning I I just want wanting to play and I said I'm going to put these out there if anybody wants them well immediately two people snapped them up two friends Debbie and Nancy and um but then I got carried away you know I wanted them to be really really grungy like this but no they ended up kind of cute <laughs> So I got to I got to work on my own that way. In that way, I want to make these grungy books. Not this, not this. I want to make these. I want to make a true to life grandma book. One that looks like it's going to have treasures that grandma kept through the years and maybe some of those treasures came from her grandma. And oh my goodness gracious, something about that book, even though it looks like it's been through World War III and was through a civil war or two or three before that, <laughs> it looks like it is worth more than gold. The contents of that book to me looks like it's worth more than gold to me. Okay, I don't know if this helped any. That is the question that I get the most often. How do I know my style? I don't know what my style is. I don't know where to start. Start with what grabs your attention when you're scrolling Facebook or when you're on the grandma group or when you're on friendly junk journal people or any of those other groups when you're on those other groups and just scrolling and looking and reading what kind of book makes you stop and look at it a little closer that's your style love and hugs